understanding what's going on under the hood of your programming language is just one more way to level up your dev skills. So let's dig in. In the Microsoft.NET framework, there are a few different languages and their respective compilers. Some examples including F Sharp, Visual Basic.NET, and C Sharp. Each of them compiled down into a form of bytecode called the Common Intermediate Language, which is a binary instruction set within the Common Language Infrastructure, CIL versus CLI. Got it. Thanks, Microsoft. CIL used to be referred to as MSIL, and in some cases still is, just in case you see that as well. One thing to note here is that if you want your code to be useful to devs using other languages in the .NET framework, your code needs to be CLS compliant, and you can force that through adding an assembly to your code like so. One way you can view the CIL created from your C-sharp program is to use a tool that comes with Visual Studio called ILDASM. Simply type this command in the terminal window, and a window will pop up. Then open your DLL file that was produced from your program, and you can view the CIL here. CIL is an object-oriented stack-based bytecode set, which basically to most folks just means good luck reading it. Stack-based in this context means that instead of using registers like typical ASM, CIL just pushes everything to a stack, and it can get very messy. Before being executed by the target platform, your code will be just in time compiled, which is provided through the Common Language Runtime, or CLR. JIT meaning the runtime converts CIL as needed during execution and stores the resulting native code in memory so that, in case it's needed again, another conversion doesn't need to happen. The .NET JIT compiler uses a tiered compilation system, which means some things that are needed immediately are JIT compiled fast but less optimized by memory usage, and things that aren't needed just yet can be slowly JIT compiled for future use and well optimized. From here, the JIT compiler outputs code that is native to the CPU it's running on, then the CLR manages execution, including memory management through garbage collection, etc. If you feel like you leveled up in this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's get on to the next topic.